Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Poland episode. So right now I'm gonna have to film in my living room because uh, my office is being attacked and occupied by South Korea. And by that, I mean my cousins are visiting. Yeah, this is a... Uh... This is kind of what it looks like right now. So we'll be back next week. In any case, as you know, there's a part where we talk about the small mistakes we made in the video, or we talk about things that didn't quite make it into the video. For one, there are a few small minor spelling mistakes. And in the history section, some of the images weren't exactly quite accurate. Sorry about that. Anyway, we didn't talk too much about the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and how it started. Long story short, some royal Lithuanian guy married a Polish royal lady, and that's basically, that long story, that's how it happened. We didn't talk too much about the Polish diaspora. About 4% of Germany's population is Polish and 3% of the USA. In fact, Chicago, where I partially grew up, is kind of like the largest Polish city outside of Poland. Poles are everywhere in Chicago. They even have like their own TV channel. And, uh, every two years, there is a World Polonia Games in which Polish people from all over the world compete in summer and winter events. It's kind of like a thing to bring Polish people back to the fatherland. We didn't talk too much about the Warsaw Pact or the Iron Curtain and what role it played in Polish history. Basically, after World War II, you were either with the USSR or the Allied Forces, and the Soviet Union created the Warsaw pact which was basically their response to nato poland being a part of it there were actual physical barricades that separated the east from the west and these years were kind of uh, not exactly the best in polish history but after the fall of communism uh things changed drastically and speaking of warsaw you can see tons of these little dwarf statues hidden all over this guy created the esperanto language which was kind of like supposed to be like a universal world language but it never really kicked off and in poland it's actually more popular to go to a milk bar rather than a fast food chain Milk bars are kind of like homemade mom and pop shops where you could just like quickly get some food and soup. You go to Poland, go to a milk bar. There's a lot of other things I could have talked about, but if I missed it, just write it in the comments. You guys do it. In the meantime, we got to move on to the flag. So without further ado... <laughs> Dude, the Poland episode was so fun to film. I hope you guys liked Art. He's one of my best buddies, AKA Artemis Prime, AKA Ginger Wolverine, AKA Pumpkin Spice. We've been talking about having him on the episode for a long time. Weirdly enough, Art is kind of like a personification of the Polish flag. Like he's white and red. So let's talk about the flag. The flag of Poland is a horizontal bicolor of equally sized bands, a white band on top and a red one on bottom. This flag is essentially an inverted version of the flags of Indonesia and Monaco with slightly different dimensions. These colors stem from the heraldic origin of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the white standing for the White Eagle of Poland, a symbol that we will discuss later, and the red for the Pursuer Knight Guy of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. In recent interpretations though, many people have said that in addition to the historical union symbolism between Poland and Lithuania, the white also symbolizes the peace and hope of the citizens of Poland, and the red stands for the struggles over the centuries. Or in other words... <laughs> Thank you to our favorite Irishman, Potter, Potts, Hatter. No, you're Potts to me. I refuse to pronounce your name correctly. Thank you for making that animation. In any case, historically, Poland had quite a few other flags. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth flag is interesting because you see the mixture of the Polish eagle and the Le Lithuanian pursuer guy. During partition years, of course, the Russians, the Austro-Hungarians, and the Germans all had their own separate empire flag things. Then eventually, they went back to the white and red. Oh, and keep in mind, each voivodoship or province of Poland has their own flag and coat of arms. However, the ethnic Kashubians that are found in West Pomerania have their own Kashubian flag, even though there is no province called Kashubia. But anyway, yeah, moving on to the coat of arms. The coat of arms of Poland is a red shield with a crowned white eagle emblazoned on top. The eagle is part of the legend of Lech, Czech, and Rus. As the Polish version of the legend goes, these three brothers are fathers of the Slavic people. One day, while on a hunting trip, they decided to split up in different directions following different animals. Rus traveled east, Czech traveled south, to the Bohemian Mountains, while Lech went north. While traveling, he encountered a white eagle nesting in a tree propped up against the red of a setting sun. Lech was like, oh dang, that's probably like a really good sign, and he decided he would settle there. Whether or not Lech actually decided to hunt and eat the eagle is not explained in the legend, but that's basically where the eagle comes from. And you know, throughout Polish history, there have been many different variants of the coat of arms, but it always kind of seemed to keep the white eagle on it. You know, whether it was kingdom years or commonwealth years, even during partition years when Poland was erased from the map for 123 years. Like, they still kept the white eagle. They love that legendary animal. So yeah, that is just about it. So that means uh, you know what time it is now. It's time for Geogra Fan Mail Time. All right, we're back for Fan Friday. As you know, we always got to have a guest star as usual, and this time it's Noah. Come to me, Noah. Your guest was Noah, but I think what you mean is that 
your guest is Thor Odinson. This is this is gonna go on for the whole episode. We're gonna do postcards. Good, as let's we always do, it. do This first one is a typical British breakfast. You know, the don't as guardians eat something like unicorn. I don't know. Unicorn mead. Thank you, Ziggy, from the UK. All right, here we have a postcard from the Urals. Alexandra and Alexi, or Sasha and Lesha from Belgium. From the Urals. Much love to you. The Urals are the mountainous region of Russia, just like Asgard. Asgard has many mountains. Uh, let me tell you about them. There's uh, the tall one, one my father Odin loves to hike, but uh, he's great. So, speaking of mountains, Aoraki Mountain. Thank you, Amrita from New Zealand. Cool mountain. Here we have a postcard from <laughs> Liechtenstein. Lucas from Germany. Thank you. He, they're from Germany, but they, I guess, mm. this, it's it's from Liechtenstein. So yeah. Yes. Well. Yeah. I'm from Asgard. Mikal from Slovakia. This card that looks like it's not from Slovakia. Oh, it's from China. They visited Beijing, uh, but they are from Slovakia. So thank you, Mikal. And here we have a postcard that Jeff from New Jersey sends us. We inspired him to make a podcast about viruses. Mm. Keep up the great work, he says to us. And I say back to you, Jeff, keep up the great work. We, we inspired him to make a podcast on viruses. Yes, we did. Alice! Ooh, she visited Georgia! Uh, I wanted to go to Georgia and eat hachpuri, and then, ow, I bit my tongue! Oh! Oh! How did I bite my tongue? Ow, well, ow, ow. Maybe you shouldn't try to eat your own tongue. You but, know, in Asgard, we do eat tongue. Uh, <laughs> this thing called bilchnipe. Bilchnipe are these big, lumbering animals, uh, and they are quite tasty. Bilchnipe tongue is fantastic. You should try it yourself. I like it better this way, actually. So here we have a postcard from Shannon from Central Massachusetts. Thank you for this lovely postcard here, Shannon. This is a postcard from Maine, the state of Maine. It's got all these uh, cool little things you can see in Maine. Here we have a postcard from Croatia, and you open it up, and what's inside? What? It folds out. Into more Croatia stuff. Uh, you know those TV shows where the police is like, they take out their wallet and they have all these pictures? Yes, has that happened to you? That uh, has once happened to me. Oh, well. Asgard. Hard, hard sure. Oh, I live in Asgard. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't met him yet. Uh, small city in Luxembourg. Keep up the good work. All right, Archibald, thank you very much. I like that name. Beautiful postcard. We got um, Ryan and Ethan from Nova Scotia. Uh, fun fact, named after Scotland. Nova, New, Scotland, Scotia. Here we have a card from a person named Shoddy. If you could give a shout out to the Holton Science Academy, it would be mean a lot. Thank you, Shoddy. This postcard is from, it says Roma. Oh, Rome. Oh, and this is also from Italy. It's uh, from Sardinia, the island in Italy. Thank you to Matteo. I need to give Miona some room here to breathe. Just, uh, Am I worthy? You are not worthy. <laughs> nope, you are unworthy. This says from Josh, Bob's, you're my favorite YouTuber and, in, and I'm native to Manchester. Wait, he's what? Oh, I thought you said he's naked in Manchester. I did. <laughs> uh, no, tell the crew that they are awesome. Well, thank you. We. Much appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Josh, from Manchester. Alex visited Krakow, Poland, uh, the medieval capital of Poland. You're like, I don't know, do they have TV in Asgard? You know, no TV. No, 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 no. We do not waste our times on TV. There we Great go. times in Asgard. Wonderful food. My, my friend Volstagg, he loves to eat all the time. Just all the time. Just always eating. Always <laughs> eating, eating, and eating, and eating, and eating. He doesn't stop. This one is from Pedro, who is from Brazil. This monument represents the iron that is mined from the region. So, thank you, Pedro. All right, here we have a postcard from Leonard. He is from Sofia, Bulgaria, but recently visited the island of Crete. The place is beautiful and is definitely worth visiting. Faisto's disc you see on the postcard is believed to be the earliest examples of the Min Minoan, Minoan mm -hmm. Linear A. Wait, it's not deciphered? Which is not deciphered oh, to this day. dang. Mjolnir has some weird petroglyphs and stuff on it, right? Yona is an uh, ancient Asgardian technology. Let me tell you, this was formed in the heart of a dying star. Can you read Asgardian? Of course I can. All right, well, what does that say on Mjolnir? Mm, so me to know, you to find out. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Johannes from Germany who visited North Macedonia. Ooh, controversial, the name change. And he says, uh, random greetings to random Hannah. Ooh, uh, I think Hannah, you got a fan. Thank you, uh, Johannes. Well, this postcard is quite interesting. Aliens. Hello, GN team. I am currently on the run after successfully raiding Area 51. Once things die down, I plan to reveal what I have discovered. I hear footsteps. I must go now. There is no name. This says they successfully raided Area 51, and they're writing us to us from there. You couldn't have oh, sent God. that unless you had a mailbox. Seems like uh, you escaped. 
And but I am interested to see what you have found out. So uh, no correlation. Japan. Um, <laughs> Daniel, who uh, went to Japan, and he says, "Thank you for the Peru episode." So you're German. You're thanking me for the Peru episode, but you visited Japan. This is the Geography Now community. This postcard comes from a very special place in my heart. Uh, greetings from Norway. <laughs> Look at this. Michael from Tucson, Arizona. Tucson is also a wonderful place as well. Well, Michael from Tucson, Arizona, thank you very much for this postcard from, from I almost said Asgard, because Asgard's on my mind. <laughs> thank you for this, post, for this postcard from Norway. Wow, dear Barb's Caleb, oh, Noah and all, okay. But no Thor. Hmm. Oh, I thought his name was Caleb. No, his name is Christine, and I think Christine is a girl. So, so that's that's interesting. Sorry, Christine. I thought you were a guy. So, too bad Noah's not here. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. You're missing out on quite the episode. <laughs> too bad Noah's not here. Here we have a postcard from, I'm sorry I haven't messed up your name, but Jacek from Lublin, Warsaw. Uh, this postcard is from Belgrade. Thank you very much. This is hi there. Let's see if I will, I mean the postcard, make it before the Poland episode. Uh, this is from Spain. And, but it was sent from Sam from Texas, but he is originally from Syria. All right, so this is Hi Bob's and team. This is from Nicola, a Croatian student in Denmark. <laughs> they love the channel and uh, they've been a fan since Croatia episode. Uh, keep up the good work. Thank you for this postcard. <laughs> Finally, the last postcard, Montenegro. It says, uh, hi, my name is Jesse. It says, uh, the 10 Montenegrin commandments. M Montenegrins literally have a lazy Olympics. Hmm. Now, we move on to letters and packages. All right, here we have a package from Puerto Rico. And uh, here's some Puerto Rican coffee for your triple shot espresso break. Oh, Julian, this is Julian, Julian coffee. Julian coffee. Uh, Did you make this coffee? Our, us mortals drink coffee for uh, nourishment and energy, but what do well, Asgardians use? Asgardians love coffee. We drink it all the time, but we still love the simple things. <laughs> We've got a letter from Hazel from Mexico City. Mexico. I hope you can make it to VidCon in Mexico City. Um, Hazel, maybe. I don't really do VidCons unless if I'm on a panel. I don't go as a spectator. All right, here. Whoa! Look at this. So we have coins here. The Central Bank of Iraq and the Bank of Korea. Oh, he says uh, he picked these up when he was in his tours in the late 70s to 1992. So, uh, back when Saddam Hussein was still in power. power. Well, thank you, David, and uh, salute you for your service. Thank you for your service. <laughs> this is from Simon from Sweden. Simon writes this incredibly long letter. Look, Simon, Sweden is great, and I can't wait to do the episode, and I'm going to do it really well, but I'm going to need your help, okay? So email me. Help me with the Sweden episode, all right? Cool. Here we have to my friend Paul from, I um, might mispronounce your name, but Ruben. And we have this lovely, Whoa. lovely Latvia, picture here. Latvia, Riga. Some art on the bottom here. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for the picture. Uh, Latvian Amber, Donald Trump's face on it. <laughs> from the French side of Switzerland, all right. Oh cool, it's like animal trading cards. Geography now team, Paul, Ken, Keith, Noah, and Hannah. Oh, he writes like 80 pages. The guy even wrote more than the Swedish guy. Look at this, there's like 80 pages of every, oh my, I, ha. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we got this. Denmark, humans of Efterskola. There's a little letter here. Something between the pages. Ah, oh, you guys are so dope. sneaky. Efterskola, and because I know you love Denmark, I thought you should have one. Thank you, Emil. Um, Looks like you guys have a lot of fun doing this after schooler thing. Here we have a package from Netherlands. There's a postcard here. Very wonderful Ferris wheel. Thank you for that. Oh, Stroop waffles. Yes. Fantastic. We've had Thank those. Thank you for these as well. Why didn't you send this stuff from Moldova, your home country? That place is interesting too, man. I mean, they are from Moldova, but they live in the Netherlands. Stroop waffles. Keith loves these, by the way. So fantastic. Mjolnir. Show me something Mjolnir can do. Let me show you how I can throw Mjolnir and call it back to me. Watch right, this. Fine. Go Mjolnir! Come to me Mjolnir! F*** me Mjolnir! Look at that! Come to me Mjolnir! Look at that! That was, Comes back to me that, as I call that, it. That worked. Well Thor, uh, I left the um, return address contest bag at my place so we're gonna have to do that Once when we get again, back. This seems to be a trend for you young Barbeto. But in any case, before we go, uh, any last words you'd like to say to the Geography Now community out there? Yona and I are happy to be on this episode of Fan slash Flag Friday. And we love all of your gifts and letters here. Uh, young Barbeto and I, we, uh, we love doing this and we love you. So thank you very much from Asgard to you. I love, uh, I love some of you, but probably not all of you because I don't know all of you. So 
I can't say I love people I don't know. All right, return address contest time. You know the deal, I put all of your uh, return addresses in this bag, and the winner gets a Geography Now notepad and button. All right, and here we go. Adrian from Bolivia. Adrian, you just won. Well, thank you guys for watching and thank you for enjoying. You've just been flagged. Stay cool, stay tuned.